Next example, ladies and gentlemen, is 3x squared minus 12 divided by x squared minus x minus 6. Um, basically, ladies and gentlemen, in this case, what you guys see is now, Ryan, we have terms that are separated by addition or subtraction. All right, So we can't just go ahead and apply the rules of exponents. And this is the largest mistake that students make. When we have terms, guys, we're going to have to find different seats. You can't be quiet when I'm talking. Now, what we see is the last problem, you guys, there was no addition or subtraction signs, were there? No? So we simply just use the rules of exponents. But now we have terms that are separated by addition or subtraction. So you can't just say, oh, 12 divided by 6, or 3x squared divided by x squared. You can't, you can't divide out across addition and subtraction. We have to rewrite this as multiplication. So to do that, to write, rewrite an expression as multiplication, we have to apply factoring. So up here, you guys can see, you can factor out the GCF. It's two terms. Do they share any common term? Anybody? 3, not 3x. One has an x, the other one does not. So if I do GCF, I factor out a 3. That becomes x squared minus 4. Then I look at x squared minus 4. All right. Always look to see, can you factor that any further? I can't pull out a GCF. We already did that. But I look at this. Is this a squared term? Is this a squared term? Yes. And it's the difference of two squared terms, which we call the difference of two squares, which I had a whole homework assignment on. So therefore, the answer for this is x minus 2 times x plus 2. That is the factored form of your numerator. Okay, That's the difference of two squares. You've got to make sure we remember our factoring techniques. Then we go over here. This is a trinomial. When factoring trinomials, we create the box and say, what two numbers multiply to give us negative 2 and then add to give us negative 1? Well, that's going to be negative 3 and positive 2. Since a is equal to 1, these are going to be a part of our factors. So now let's rewrite everything as factored form. So I have 3 times x minus 2 times x plus 2 all over x minus 3 times x plus 2. But now what I want you guys to see, now what I, exactly what I want you guys to see is do you guys see how all of these are separated by multiplication? Do you guys see how each of these expressions, each of those parentheses are now separated by multiplication? Now, since they're separated by multiplication, we can divide out the same terms that are in the numerator and the denominator. So therefore, now I'm left with 3 times x minus 2 over x minus 3. Fine.